What's up, fellow viewers? Colton Tackle on Sonic and OKQ for Nat 2021 here. Welcome to part 5 of 2021 edition of Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough. Yep, part 5 of the 2021 edition of this walkthrough. So, in the last part, we went past two more Microsoft Money tutorials, which were on the Lifetime Planner and the Budget Planning. So, we're going to move on to, to another two tutorials so let's just gotta wait for this computer to get to like get to the startup okay go into the welcome screen let's log again By the way, this part of the walkthrough was sponsored by these two Backyard Against DVDs. It's great to be a ghost and Polka Palace party. With that being said, let's go to the My Computer application. Dang it, it closed. Give me a sec. So I got it up now. Finally clicked on the My Computer application, and now we gotta, gotta get to the place where the Microsoft Money tutorials are on the C drive. That's where it is, so let's just try to get to that. Also, yeah, there are some people who don't even know that I'm actually in a basement doing this because this basement is where this computer is right here. Well, of course, this is the basement. This is the basement. This is where our, this is where my videos of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough take place. And as you can see in this basement, you know, some of my shirts are being washed. You know, there's a there's a backyard again shirt and an OKKU Let's Be Hero shirt being washed. Well, actually, they're already washed. They're, they already got washed before and they're already hanging up. They're already hanging on the... They're already hanging on the... So, yep, they're already hanging right now. So, they're being dried at the moment. So, let's just get this, get the lights turned off before we start the first tutorial for this part. So, let's just get to it. Here we go. I'm going to click on 11RI. Minimize this. Hope it's not being slow like always. Like, I mean, this computer is pretty slow, but then again, I think it starts to be normal for the rest of the time. If if if, if it's turned on, that is. Boy, did did I did I already click on it? Why didn't it open? Guys, I'll be right back. I gotta get it up for a moment. I'm very sorry about this, guys, but for some reason, um, I think something's going on. I mean, I think for some reason this thing opened up a little slow. The computer's being a little slow with the Microsoft Money Tutorials being open today, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on, but let's just get to it. Create an investment account with Microsoft Money. Here we go. We got our quarterly statement in the mail today from our broker, Ferguson and Bardell. How do we handle this in Microsoft Money? We need to set up a separate investment account for each statement we get. So let's create one for Ferguson and Bardell. It'll hold all the individual investments we have with them, like the stocks and mutual funds. So we create one investment account for each broker we work with, and then we track our individual investments within that account. That's right. Let's create the new account together. Starting on the Accounts and Bills menu, let's click Account Setup. Okay. Now we choose Add a New Account. We type the broker's name here, Ferguson and Bardell. Choose Investment Account. Let's call it Ferguson and Bardell Investment to distinguish it from our retirement account there. Right. That's important for keeping our tax information straight. And we'll add our investments later. Okay. So now we need to enter the total amount we have invested with this broker. What does the statement say? Uh, here we go. $23,936. Of course, this is probably already out of date, but an estimate is all we need here. 
Money will correct the balance for us later when we add each investment. I'm stuck on this one. We have cash in our account with Ferguson and Bardell? Yeah, almost all investment accounts have at least some cash transactions. Like when we deposit a check, or when investments pay a dividend. Money sets up a special cash transaction section for these activities. Our statement says we have $125 in our cash account. Well, that was easy. Wait a minute. Are the funds in our money market also considered a cash account? No. We'll put our money market in as its own investment when we're ready to do that. Okay. So you click Finish, and now here's our account. To see any cash-related activity, we'd click Cash Transactions. But why is our account empty? Uh, because it's brand new, and we haven't added any of our individual investments yet. When we're ready, we can click here to add them. Moving on, we're going to click on 12BA, and that's, that is, that's the balance and account to a paper statement, so let's just, let's watch that. Please don't tell me it's being slow again, oh my gosh. Sorry, I accidentally did this. It's, it's not the computer's fault, it's probably the mouse's fault, probably where it's sitting at. Let's get to it, balance and account to a paper statement. Charlie, we got our bank statement in the mail today. Since our account is in Microsoft Money now, shouldn't we balance the two? I want to make sure they match. Good idea. It won't take much time either, because Money makes balancing our account so simple. Let's do it now then. First, we open the account we want to balance, and then we click Balance This Account over here. Sounds like a good start. We type in the ending date from our statement, the ending balance, and fill in the rest if we have service charges or interest. This looks like a detailed bank statement, with our deposits up here and our checks down here. These are the unreconciled transactions that have yet to be cleared. So what's this information in the left pane? These are the steps that guide us through the balancing process. First, we mark transactions in money that have cleared the bank. Every time we clear a transaction, these numbers change. When we get this difference down to zero, we'll know we're balanced. To start comparing, we can set this page to look more like our bank statement. Oh, I see. We just go up here to View and choose the Group Deposits, then Checks Withdrawals view, because that's the format of our statement. Now it'll be easy to compare our statement against our information in money. But in our check register, we would just mark an X for each transaction that had cleared the bank. How do we do this on the computer? We use this column called C. This is where we mark transactions that have cleared. Oh, I get it. So let's start clearing. The statement shows that there is a deposit for $1,216.82 on December 1st. Here it is. When I click the C column for those checks, money marks them C for cleared. There's another deposit for $1,016.44 on December 8th. Got it. Now for withdrawals. The statement shows that checks 1634 to 1648 have all cleared. Here they are. Okay, they're all cleared. What are those payments marked E? E means they're electronic transactions that have already cleared the bank. When I downloaded our account information from the bank's website the other day, Money automatically updated the status of these transactions. Looks like someone made a mistake entering the amount for this Contoso Limited check. They don't match. Can we fix it? Oh, sure we can. Just click the transaction, click Edit Here, and then correct the number over here. Perfect. Take a look at this. This shows what we've marked as cleared. I see. And this section tells us the difference between what we've cleared so far and the statement ending balance. The numbers change every time we clear a transaction. Money keeps a running total as we work. When the difference is zero, our account is balanced. But we're still off by 30 cents. And we can take care of that in the third and final step. Let's click Next. If we don't balance out to zero, we can either go back and look for the discrepancy, use Auto Reconcile, or just make an adjustment. Because we're not likely to lose any sleep over 30 cents, we'll just adjust the balance. Great. See, all the C's and E's have now turned to R's. So this means our transactions are reconciled and our account is balanced. Now our information in money matches the bank's information.
you know what? I think we got time for one more. And that will be on this one, 13 IT. Enter an investment transaction. So let's just watch this before we go. Here we go. We've already set up that investment account for our broker, Ferguson and Bardell. I think it's time we enter the stocks that we've bought and sold. That'll bring the value of our investment account and money up to date, won't it? Right. And recording each investment transaction can also help us calculate our capital gains for taxes at the end of the year. Okay. Let's start with our first purchase here. 10 shares of Parnell Aerospace. We'll go to our money portfolio and add the new investment. Good. Here's another money wizard to walk us through each step. We choose our investment account from the list. Now the stock. Since this is a new stock for us, it's not in our list yet. I'll just type it in. What type of investment is it? Well, it's a stock. What's the symbol on the statement? It's PRNL. But if we didn't know what it was, we could click Find Symbol and money quickly searches the internet to find it. Here's where we fill in the buy details. We can take it right off the statement. Money offers two ways to track our stocks. If we just want to track the number of shares, we can fill in the quantity here. But since we want money to track our investment performance, as well as capital gains and losses for our taxes, we'll enter the date and price details too. So now we're finished adding the investment transaction. And see, it's now listed in our portfolio. So money calculated the total. Of course, this shows us quantities, market value, and the gains and losses on our holdings. If we want to review transactions for this stock, we just click its name. We can get even more information here. Oh, let's look at the price history. This is great information. Where does it come from? From the internet. We're set up to connect to the web and update the investment information each time we open money. But we can update it any time we're working in money, as long as we're connected to the internet. First, we click Update Price Online. Money goes to the web and retrieves the latest prices for all the investments in our file. That'll keep our portfolio current and accurate. We're going to stop here for now, but you know, I think tomorrow for the next, I don't know if we'll do it in the next part tomorrow, but you know, for the next part, we'll actually have the next two Microsoft Money tutorials on reducing your depth and categorizing transactions. So time to turn this computer off oh, but we need to turn the lights back on first so let's let's go do that okay got the lights turned back on and by the way you know that back Garrigan shirt and that okay Kid let's be here shirt I think they're already dry so they're already taken off of of the clothesline right here that being said it's time to turn the computer off so let's click turn off let's click that let's click the red button and that will do it. So that, that's going to do it for part 5 of the 2021 edition of the Dell Dimension 4600 walkthrough. Stay tuned next time for part 6. I'm not sure if part 6 is going to come out tomorrow, but it depends if, if, I'm, if I feel like doing it tomorrow or not. But I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic and OKQ for the next 2021 signing off. See you in the next video. Peace out, folks.